the time is half past midnight and we're in the middle of our swamp. I'm gonna have to turn this light off in a minute. We're literally being attacked, but you can see there, hopefully, that we're underwater, but it's dry. Completely dry underneath, and this is just a very, very thin ground sheet, but it's dry, thankfully. <laughs> I mean, it's a small sample, obviously, but it's you know, it's clearly doing its job under that. You know, you can clearly see that it is. Oh, fuck. You can clearly see that it's <laughs> just saturated under there. Alright, I'm going to turn this light off because I'm getting these funny insect things are driving me mad. I don't know what they are. I don't think they're biting, but they're all over the shop. Just look at them, just everywhere. Where the hell are they? They're like sort of water bugs or something. I mean, at least it stopped raining. And the inside is dry. You can see how wet it is. <laughs> but it's mostly dry. Oh, there you can see all the bugs there, well, millions of them just flying everywhere. What the hell are they? Millions of bugs, daddy long legs, bugs, everything. You really can't see very much. But it's uh, absolutely hammering it down. There's a little bit of spray floating around. So, you know, just as a, a little protection and caution, I've just rigged that up there. And we're dry here. Really, ideally, you probably should lower the door, but I'm not going out in that. I've just put the chair up there, but we're dry and cozy, you know, in here. It's very nice, and all of my Seam sealing seems to be working. I can't see I can't see any rain or anything that's dry there. But it's uh it's just hammering it down outside. It's been very, very blustery for the last couple of hours. Right, it's not even eight o'clock yet, so there's maybe a couple more hours of this, but we're fine. <laughs> we're very cozy in here, very dry. Like I said, we've got this little rigging up here, and then I put the chair over there. More of a precaution, really. I think, we're, you know, we're far enough back here. But I think maybe if there's a, you know, a heavy chance of heavy rain, then probably is worth just lowering, you know, lowering that door. But it's, it's perfectly safe. I mean, it's really windy. It's, it's gusting upwards of up to 30. The forecast, 
um, is showing high 40s, but it's, it's definitely not 40 here, but certainly, you know, certainly 30 odd or up to 30 here. I measured about 28 earlier on and I'm sure it's been at least as windy as that, if not more, so up to 30. Oh, hello. Oh. So, I've eaten all my cheese and crackers. I've eaten the second meal, so the, um, whatever the meal is, expedition foods, the spaghetti bolognese, that actually was, uh, the spaghetti bolognese is, is quite nice actually. So I've had the spaghetti bolognese, the cheese and crackers are gone, and then I've just got a few crackers left, you know, biscuits, you know, sweet biscuits, about three or four, I think. And I've, I've brought gas again this time, and I'm not sure how much gas is left. This is why I'm not, really not a fan of gas, because you don't really know because you don't really know how much, you know, you're going to use and how much is left. It's not that easy to tell. So, I've just been sparing it a little bit because when I've been out for several days, then I put a second container in. But as we were only out for two nights, I've just used one container, so we will see whether that, you know, whether that is enough. But, you know, you can see, you can see the scene ceiling. I know many of you don't like my scene ceiling. Maybe the, uh, the very top dangly bit, maybe is bad. Other than that, Everything, all the other scenes are good. So even if I don't do pretty scene ceiling, it's it's working. If it was cold, then I'd be uh, this area around here is dry. That area over there is dry. Where all that stuff is, so. If it was cold, I'd clear that entire area and get Lassie under there, but she's outside somewhere, so I'm not going to worry. She's, it's not cold. We're going to carry on just enjoying the weather. Good morning. It's half past nine. We've, uh, we got through the rough night. I can put you on this very long selfie stick here. You can see outside looking in. It seems such a jumble in here. I don't know where to start to be honest, but I think I'm going to have breakfast and then slowly start to slowly start to tidy things up. It really is. A jumble. I got wires and leads, and I usually like to think about trying to have a bit of a tidy up the evening before. But I must admit, last night I think I was feeling extra lazy and tired, even more lazy and tired than normal. And I didn't do any of that yesterday. And I was going to put the head and ox chair away last night. But in the end, because of the weather, I ended up using it as a as a door barrier just to keep some spray out. It probably wasn't, you know, completely needed, but I thought just to be on the safe side, you know, anything that stops, you know, any any spray that you can kind of stop getting to you is is, you know, is a benefit. But you can see it's very wet and flooded here and you can see there's literally water you know under there 
but it's dry. The only thing I notice is maybe if I was <coughs> kneeling on it with a ground sheet or putting a lot of pressure down, then I felt like I'd maybe feel some moisture coming through. But that's only with you know with with a direct elbow pressure. And to be honest, that didn't really make any difference because I was never using elbow. But if I was knee <laughs> kneeling on the ground sheet to pee out the out there, then after like a minute or two, because it takes a minute to get things going, um, then you know that I could maybe feel some moisture coming getting onto my knee, but it was. It was like after a minute or two, so it wasn't straight away. And it was like a feeling of it, not actually, couldn't really see anything as such. So it could even be my imagination, but we've got Lizzie. I've just got it wrapped around this duvet here. I've started putting her coats in there, luckily, we didn't really need any of her. I've been meaning to mention about this LED. At the outdoor trade show, they were kind enough to give this to me. And I've been meaning to mention it in a video. It's it's um, it's not really for camping as such, but you could attach it to a key ring, something like that. And if you're out walking and you felt threatened or were under attack, there is a thing here that you can pull out that you know an alarm goes off so it's not it's not really a hiking thing but it's what he gave me um, the only problem is is that yes yeah, two nights ago when I was here I wanted to it was getting dark and I wanted to find my torch and I couldn't remember where I put my torch but I I, I had this to hand because it just happened to be lying around and I went to turn it on, and you turn it on by press, just literally pressing this at the back. And of course, unfortunately, when it's in your pack, it's all too easy for that to be pressed, turned on, and then of course it's on in your pack. So when I went to use it, it was, it was dead because it had been turned on in my pack. So um, it's kind of like a good idea, but I think, you know, even if you're a if you're a man or a woman with a handbag these days, Mr. Humphreys, um, you know, just be a bit careful that you don't go turning it on by accident. Um, other than that, I can't really say much more about it. So I'll, uh, I'll bring it on some other camps and, you know, shine it around and we'll have a look at it sometime. But that was kind of like my first um you know thing i've noticed several times is that it has got turned on when i've not wanted to turn it on by pressure and i've always noticed it quickly enough in the past but this time i didn't and it's dead dead as a doornail but everything that's been on the ground here you know is completely dry and this is kind of funny. I don't know what you can see. I angle it like that. When I come down here and lie down like that, then you get a big pool of water. So yeah, it's gone down a bit now, but around this area here, there's a big pooling of water. It didn't go below 13 degrees last night um, last night it was 14 degrees the lowest was 13.3 at 6 o'clock this morning 6 7 o'clock 13.3 and that's it so yeah it's uh, but certainly around the the 12 13 degree mark a sleeping bag is very cosy. Ah, well, let's have this breakfast and then really I'd better start to try and pack up a little bit.
there was some there was some food left in the in the pack so I thought well I just put it all I just put it all down <laughs> They can have a bit each and see if they <laughs> see if they can not squabble. <laughs> Lizzie was making some funny sounds early on, but there's so much there. It's too much. You can go eat it all anyway. I think I probably ended up putting a bit too much in, but I'd rather have too much dog food than than not enough. And another thing that I've noticed, sitting on the on the thermo rest, <coughs> I tend to bottom out on it. And clearly it's impossible to be getting a wet backside through a thermo rest. And I can feel similar coolness to when I'm kneeling on the ground sheet. So I just uh, added that in there for, just added that in there for extra information that maybe what I'm feeling when I'm kneeling on the ground sheet is literally just cold and not damp because I can feel the same thing by, you know, sitting on this thermo rest like this. So you question the waterproofness and as you can see, and it's on top of some some rough stuff there as well. There's a twiggy thing there. This is why I, I do like, I must admit, with these thin ones, whilst I don't want a ground sheet, this is why I do like just to put, you know, a foam mat down just so there's a little bit of oop, protection, you know, for the ground sheet itself. But I don't bother about all that out there. But as you can see, it's uh, completely dry. And you can see how, you can see how wet that is under there. Okay, well, we're mostly packed up. The dogs are ready. This is ready. I've got her other, well, I did have her other coat somewhere. I've probably packed it now. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I've done with it now. Anyway, she's got that coat on, so it'll be fine. I'll wash it when we get home. That's the, that's the sleeping area that we had. So obviously water was running down through there, straight down, and then straight down through there. And then you can see that it's actually running. It was running through the tent, well, under the tent, um, and down through there. So once again, I pitched in the middle of a stream, a makeshift, a makeshift stream. We'll. We'll try and camp down there. <laughs> One of them can come up here next time. Uh, I do have this funny habit. I thought it was a nice spot up here. But anyway, it worked out fine though. It's just obviously your porch gets flooded and everything. So the porch was this bit here. So I was lying down through there. And then of course that's the porch. And that was, the, that, was, that was the only high bit of ground in the port, so I put all my stuff there and I don't know where Lassie went. Like I said, if it had been cold, then I would have cleared that area for her, but she didn't show any signs of, of wanting to come undercover, so... One thing of note, they've got the red flags flying up over 
you know, up there. So that's whatever that is, because it's Chat Tour, I think. And then obviously Sharp Tour, Hair Tour, and then Doe Tour. So they've got the flags flying. So those flags mean that the Oakhampton range is, is active. But I looked on the website and the website shows not firing today. So I don't quite know why, why they're, you know, firing when it's not on the website. I, I, I checked the other day and I just double checked now and even now it's showing as as not firing so and that's definitely the Oakhampton range because the Willsworthy ranges are over are over that way and the Merivale range is over there somewhere so I don't quite know why their flags are on Oakhampton as well anyway let's get a bit more of this stuff packed away I think realistically we're, we're nearly packed up you know finished so we're going to be walking back together so i probably won't do any video we will see you in the next video hope you've enjoyed this one a bit of a impromptu just get together and a bit of filming anyway we'll see you in the next video thanks very much for watching